hello everyone and very welcome to the channel before i start this video i really need to request you to please subscribe to the channel plus share it among your network as it helps a lot i normally say that at the end of the video but i have been told by some of the viewers that sometimes i should say it at the start anyway that out of the way in this video i'm going to share a very interesting and exciting news plus a tool and that is that now we have olama's alternative if you don't know what olama is olama is probably one of the easiest tool to run especially the text-based large language models locally very quickly and easily it even allows you to run these models on your cpus depend depending upon the size of the model of course so this nexa ai or nexa sdk is a new tool in the market which enables you to not only run these text-based model locally but also it is a whole toolkit that supports text audio image generation and multimodal models in audio it supports speech to text and text to speech for image generation it is something like stable diffusion plus another thing um, or fun fact about them is that they are the people behind the models octopus i already have covered various versions of octopus model on my channel so if you're interested just with octopus and those models were quite good so what they are trying to do here is they are trying to build a holistic tool just like olama so that you could not only use text-based model but you could do text generation image generation vision language speech to text and a lot of other things with this another cool stuff is that it comes with an open a compatible api with json schema for function calling and streaming and a streamlit ui to make testing and deployment easier also, you can run this Nexa SDK on any device with a Python environment and GPU acceleration is also supported. I believe that idea is good. Name is a bit, uh, I would say, I think they should review the name. Whenever you put SDK in front of any name, it makes it a bit techy. So Olama is more geared towards the people who are not that technical in my opinion uh, after running so many videos on olama and various models i believe that most of the people who love who like who run olama are the ones who are not that technically savvy and they don't want to be they just want to run the model sdk the software development kit just makes it bit techy so i think just my two cents okay so also very very new project and so maybe there will be some bugs or here and there but i think that as it will evolve it's always good to have competition it's always good to have an alternative of the existing tools so in this video we are going to get it installed locally and then we will see how it works before i show you the installation let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram yes i am using linux i know that uh, some of you want me to always use windows so nexa also works on windows i will be making another video very soon where i will show you how to get it installed on windows so let me clear the screen next up let's create a virtual environment i'm just calling it nexa so let's wait for it to get activated and the virtual environment is created let's install some of the prerequisites like torch and transformers they don't say it in their um, repo but I always try to get it installed in my virtual environment so that you won't be having any issues. So let's wait for all of these to get installed. Okay, all the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. And now next, let's git clone the repo of Nexa and then we will cd into it. Make sure to use this recursive word here so that it will install all the submodule dependencies with it. You see that it is installing a lot of stuff. 
because not only it uses the ggweb format but also an nx format of the models and next step we would need to build this as per our um, underlying platform so i am using linux with cuda so i would need to run this command if you are running mac this will be a different command if you are running windows this will be a different command and these commands are the, on their github repo so it is making it and it is using kablas from nvidia it is using pip install next a lot of stuff so let me run it okay so let's wait for it to finish and then we will see how it goes and this finishes the nexa installation so let me clear the screen so you see olama has only one liner for installation whereas nexa has multiple steps okay now in order to verify if nexa is installed or not simply run nexa dash dash version there you go so we have this nexa version just like olama if you want to list the models nexa list so no models were found now how do you get the models similar to olama they have this model hub which is nexaaicom slash models and i will drop the link in video description this feels quite good where you can select a model type from the left hand side file format tag so it supports ggf or nx and bin and then you can filter it down with parameter with ram file size and then so for example if you just want to go with text one the nlp one you will see that they have a lot of models here their own octopus which is appearing at the top and then you can sort by most likes download that is good i'm not sure how accurate that is but we can check it out so it has just been released and already they have more than 600 model which is quite good you can go with this metas llama 3 or whatever you like so for example if i click on this one now if you want to run locally here you can click on this one what happens this is the command you need to use you can select your device here so as for example i have gpu cuda so i'm just going to go with gpu cuda here so i already have installed the sdk like this and this is a command which we need to use so just simply click on this to copy and go here to your terminal and then paste here press enter it is downloading the model the size is just under 3 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded and there you go the model is downloaded here you can chat with it hello what is day to day let's see what model says it doesn't know about it but the model is running the speed is quite good and then you can just chat with it what a profound question there you go and then in order to exit you can simply slash exit and then if you do nexa list you will see that we have this model um, also you can run linux command like nexa who am i so but this means is that you would need to log into nexa's website so that you could use their api and i will shortly show you how you can do it and that is also the way to upload the models there now another thing which you can do you can simply use a nexa server command to start serving the model and for that all you need to do is to run this command nexa server okay so it says you would need to give it a model path that is not really mentioned in their repo and there you go so if you specify nexa server and then models name then it serves it on this port where you can access it at this local host at port 8000 now the funny thing is that in the error which we saw earlier it says model path so if you try to give this model path it won't work you have to give the model name here and then you can access it through your apis your programs wherever you like another issue which i found out with api is that yes it is serving here but when you try to make an api call with curl or even with postman it returns uh, this uh, statement here even if you use the prompt which uh, or the request body which they have given it always gives us this 500 internal server server error so maybe still work in progress so i don't think so this 
server is working at the moment so i'm just shutting it down just pressing ctrl c hopefully they will fix it now if you want to upload your own own model all you need to do is to just click on this sign up from the top right and then you can log in with google or you can just give your email so let me sign up i have signed up with my gmail account and you can see that now i am logged in in order to upload your model just click on this upload your model at the top right and then from here you can just give your model name whatever your model name is your parameters model type what sort of model it is and then if you want to give any licensing information apache or whatever and then all you need to do is to just create repo and it will upload the model for you so it is that simple i didn't find any way of doing it through cli um, in the documentation maybe there is some or maybe they will release it shortly i'm not sure about that if you want to delete a model the command is simple first you do nexa list and then nexa remove and then the whole model name with the tag this simply i think olama uses rm command this uses remove command and that has deleted it if you do nexa list there are nothing but you see we get the error while listing the model so they are still i think uh, fixing it up very very early project similarly you can very easily generate the images so if i do nexa list here i already have downloaded this table diffusion model and the um, procedure is same you just go here and then uh, sorry here not here where is the model hub let me quickly check where is the model hub okay let me quickly go there so this is a model hub here i just press the back arrow and then computer vision and then once you click here run model locally and simply just grab this command so i already have run this and if i go here you will see that the model is here now once i do nexa and then you can simply run this command or this is a command which i ran it's already there and then maybe you can just say a kangaroo press enter no negative prompt and then it is creating the image there you go it has saved the image so if i go there in this directory generated images this is a one this is a kangaroo there you go how good is that very nice and similarly you can go with the text to speech models by doing model hub and then this is the audio one you can just select it and similarly you can do the whisper model with it run it and then provide it as a or text or audio and this should work so that's it guys this was a quick overview of it i will be exploring it more and likely we'll be doing more video exploring each option in bit more detail just to see how it works i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching